Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Spiritfarer where we are on our way to see the Quartz Dragon right now. I don't know what we'll find there but uh, certainly someone is having some terrible terrible dreams. And uh, well Summer is. And we would really really like for her to not be having horrible horrible dreams. So yes. You guys all staying in there? Morning, Sprout. Morning, Bee. I want a hug. Okay. Do you want some food? Yum, yum. I think we might have uh, gotten where we need to go. Hang on. Hey, Summer. Oh, this. I thought that might be it. Well, this is terrifying. The dragon. I guess it's inevitable that it would be here. Following me, always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain. It really does, poor thing. Doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. up there. It's hard. Is this like a huge jumping puzzle then? Alright, okay, I can get up here. So from here I need to go onto there. Double jump. And then, uh, so yeah, it's a case of being very... Um, Very methodical and calm, even though it's like quite a crazy thing going on. Oh no, I fell in. Oh no, I fell in again. Quartz Dragon. Oh no! This is cool. Back on the boat now. Okay, so have I done it? Are you happy? Okay, you look better. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we're ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I may feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. You're feeling really sad. Is hungry, has witnessed the dragon from her past. I wonder if that's something to do with like something she poisoned with her GMO pesticide infested crops or something. However, 
I can do something about the hunger. Give you some grilled veggies, I think. Okay, do you want some popcorn? There you go. You should not hungry. Right, so. Are you hungry? Have a raspberry. I'm going to make some poached fruit upstairs, I think. And then I need to give Stella some coffee, I'm thinking. So I could cook up some shellfish. I'm thinking we'll do that. And then I'll keep going with the grilled veggies as well. Um, pretty much everyone except Stella eats those. So it's pretty good. Well... Stella, I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been into textiles. Well, a few years ago, I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. And I couldn't help but notice that you could build a loom on this ship. This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. And I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. So you should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Just check in your blueprint table. Well, I have already checked that, and I will be doing that straight away. So let's do some rearranging. Also, I'm going to set us on a destination to somewhere new. Because may as well try and be at least a little efficient. So that's where we're going to get oak, which will be kind of cool. Uh, but there is also a new island to get via... In fact, the new island will be before that jellyfish stage so yeah let's let's head there why not go and check it out see if there's any cool stuff for us to nick uh to, to acquire from there right blueprint table so the loom will be the first thing to get because then i can start to turn the the threads i get from the farm into useful things then we'll once we've done the buildings we'll sort the farms out i'm gonna put the farms like more in the middle um, and then put the sleeping quarters and the kitchen and everything to the sides. And I've got a reason for that. Um, move that over there. Because at the moment I can move things about, you see. Oh, come on. Green Halton Bay discovered! Yay! I'm not going to go there just yet. I've got a little bit I need to do to finish off first, okay? A bit of a bit of Tetris here. That under there. That down there. I like that, like, down here better. I know, I know. It would probably be better against Stella's thing. In fact, that's something I could do. Put Stella on the bottom. Move to farm over one. And then this uh, wee guy can go here. kitchen could go on top. That kind of fits alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Although I do, I do like a nice long ladder, though. So 
So it was kind of nice to have Stella's thing on top of the farm. Hang on. I know, I'm really bad for this, right? Just has a one and do what I wanted to do. That those are definitely like the same sort of size, right? All of those are the same kind of size. So they're really good to be like right on top of each other. So let's go back and do the building now. Because I can definitely make myself a loom. I can't yet make myself the uh other stuff. Oh a loom would go you like Perfectly. Around Stella's things. Okay. I'm going to put the loom there. I'm going to move Stella's house on top of the loom. And then the kitchen will still be on top of Stella's house. I think that's a bit better. I, it's kind of hard to really get everything quite the way I want, but that'll do. Maybe with enough different buildings it'll be cool. But anyway, what I want to know then is what I can do with the loom. What can I do with this loom then? All right, hello. Mm. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the target. Mm. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Oh, you got some fiber. Nice. Thank you. Okay, so a bundle of rough stalks from the linen from the flax crop to be woven into linen thread in the loom. So let me just try with one first, so I can get an idea how to do the mini game. All right, I see. So if you hit the marker in the middle, then that's good. Okay. Two five. I've got three linen thread from that. Okay, how many have I got now? Typical, 19, really? I need 20. Lovely. Okay, that should be plenty. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go myself when you don't need it. But don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. So she's super duper happy now. Won't even have to feed her. Will I, Dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> I know your name's Daffodil, don't worry. Okay, so. Um... Next thing I want to have a quick look at. I don't know, should we go to bed first, actually? Daffodil, should we go to bed first? You're a daffodil because you're a yellow cat. Do we have made it there? Mm, okay. 
yeah, I think I'm going to head to bed. And then we will go and check this island out in daylight, which will be quite nice. It was really cool, like, helping that dragon. I felt so good, like, he looked in so much pain. And I was like, now... And then he looked so much better, like, when all those horrible things went off his eyes and stuff. Ugh. Poor little dude. Morning! Oh, it's, very, it's still very rainy and horrible and dark and nasty looking, but oh well. We shall still go and, and have a... Well, actually, I should look after everybody and feed everybody and do everything first, shouldn't I, really? Stella, you come back here. It's coffee time. Mm -hmm. Hi, Stella. Mm -hmm. Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. Mm. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Mm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Okay, Villa Maggior. Well, I was going to give you some coffee too. Um, come back here. Mm. I'm thinking about anything else but food right now. Well, that's because... I have coffee for you. Mm. Happy? Want a hug? Mm. Happy you have a loom? There we are. We'll harvest fibre. Wonderful. Happy to have shown me around the loom. Has access to a loom. Has a nice house. Shopped at Raccoon. Eating her favourite meal. Doesn't like Ashwell's banging. Was recently hugged. Cool. Alright, let's get out here. At all. You're just a little bit hungry. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, uh, let's try veggies. Okay. Needs a home. You want a hug? Should I hug? Mm. Hug always brightens my day. Okay, cool. I'm very sad. Why are you sad? Let's have a look at your mood. Needs a home and is hungry. Well, we can do the hunger and a hug. You want some grilled veggie? Okay, you want a hug? Make you feel better? Okay, and... Oh, this rain, will it ever stop? I'm not happy with the rain. Right, so... Next thing I want to quickly do is see if I've got enough stuff to build the sawmill. Which I may well do. Yeah. That's a big old building. So I think a couple of things need to be moved around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these along one. That's not being able to do that. Move you up. And then we should be good to pop it in. So 
Someone's a happy camper. How you liking it, mate? This looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill's so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. And I get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. I wasn't asking for money. I just wanted you to be happy. Excited about the new sawmill, but needs a home. Was recently hugged to eat a meal he likes. Okay, cool. Let's go in and have a look. Wow. He probably would like to show me around it though, I imagine. Do you want to show me around it? I love rain so much I could stay under it for days. Well, he's just ha I'm just happy that he's happy. That's the main thing. What have you got to say for yourself then? Hey, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously, and then we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Summer's Sanctuary. Let us see about Summer's Sanctuary. And then laying at the ley line. Right, let's have a look at Summer's Sanctuary. It's a comfy zen and adequately moisturised space. Made of oak, planks and limestone. Now, I believe that a couple of islands o over will be some um, oak. I believe that we're going to need a bit more space on this boat soon too. Probably fairly soon. But I've got about 3,000. I need 4,000 for that. But I could just go around all the different uh, jellyfish locations. Or try and see what the daily is from my my bud. Depending where whereabouts he is. Um, okay, let's head down. See what... Uh, this is the new island, isn't it? And I haven't even gone to explore it yet. But that's fine. Let's go now. But I think it's the next island over that has oak on it. Got ya. Yeah. Sometimes it takes me a few tries. Hello! Hey! I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. It's been, I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna cut them down instead. Frog, why are you here? You just like the rain in general. Look at all these trees! I'll be picking up some wood, hoping to do some work on these later. Oh, he looks so happy! I wish I knew what Summer's favourite food was so I could give it to her. I'm going to try poached fruit, I think, in a, in a bit and see if she likes that. Let's grab these raspberries because that will help immensely. Mm, looks like someone already had that one. Oh look, a little dive spot. Hidden at the end there where you didn't think I could see it. I need to sell all these like blinking diamond rings I'm picking up. I'm getting a lot of things that need to be sold and could in theory be an upgrade for my boat. So, yeah. I do need to find my little friend. 
Okay, so let's just check. Number one. That I got all the stuff off this island that was here. I did. Cool. Oh, he's following me around. Yes. Happy with that. Is he on his way over? Dunno, let's just go and find him. That should not take long at all. He's literally right by me. Hello? Okay, so... I always press X instead of A and that like ends up with me like cuddling dandy- Oh no! Ah, let me back up! Ah, uh, it... Okay, so... Let's have a chat. You completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. Everyone loves errands. Okay, so... What's the errand today? Oh, is it still the sockeye salmon and the sole? Oh well. I guess we'll try... Uh, if I get those things, I'll try and hand them in. In the meantime, though, I've got some things I want to sell. A valuable ring times two, and two vibrant necklaces, which I have found on my travels while diving. Diving is very lucrative, you know. I should try cooking that skull up. I have 48 lightning bottles now. They sell for 60, that's pretty decent. 42 maple logs, logs that sell for 65 each, but I've got 5,300 now. If I need to upgrade the boat, if I run out of room, I can go and do it. Thank you! Also, um, if you have any bottles, I'll buy them off you. Because they, you buy them for 20, right? And then you can sell them back once you've got some lightning in them. So you've got some lightning in them, you can sell them back for 60. So you can triple their co their price. Which is pretty amazing. So if I so if I buy... If I sell like a couple of them, that's enough for the... Eight, so eight bottles was 160. Sell one more. Six times three, 180. I don't know. I think I've made more money there than than I actually... Yeah, I don't know. But you get triple back. So, you know, it's definitely always worth selling in the... Li even selling in the lightning bottles so that you can buy more bottles off him. Because that's just really cool. Right, so, anyway. Um, now I've done that. And checked his errand and everything. We've got a new island all the way up here, which is, uh... Gwen's Quest. And we've got something over here. Which is the Gweno Fields, which is where we're going to get oak from. And I think I would like to go and get some oak. And I want to have a look at what the next thing I need to, to build is, actually. It's Summer's Place, isn't it? And what do I need for that? Oh, yeah. That's why we need oak. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. What else can we build? The last thing is the foundry, really. Which is oak, planks and coal. Everything else is built. So, yeah, really... It is just a case of going there. Maybe going to... I don't know, you might find coal at the parents' place or something. But moving on, definitely. Right, so, we've got some stuff to do. I want to, like, check on everybody, but I want to do a big harvest of everything first. I want to grow a bit more corn now. And a couple of coffees, maybe. Do a coffee as well. And then next time I'll do a bunch of linen. All of these need harvesting too. And what else needs to happen? Still don't like this layout too much. Oh, there's something that's been cooked here. Oh, 
Lots of poached fruit. Cool. Um, eventually we'll get to upgrade the, the kitchen. Oh yes, coffees. Honestly, they will not take long at all. It's almost like by the time you go out of the door, the coffees are done. So. Five coffees! Next. Let's do. Five shellfishes. And we are there. Garuno Field. Garuno. Garuno Fields. I swear I can't talk sometimes. So those are going to cook while everyone's like in their private residences. And we're just, as I say, needing some slightly different stuff. And I need to go to bed. One more day for this episode, I feel. So we will definitely be exploring that island today. Oh, it's getting bigger and better and cooler and more fuller of things. It's like building your own little tiny town on a boat, isn't it? Okay. Morning. Right, time to wake everybody up, feed everybody. I'm so glad I realised you could uh, do batches of five. No, we've got an island to explore today, so no navigating until we've done that. Good morning, Sprout. Are you happy with your little place? You seem super happy with your little place, actually. That was not what I intended to do. I want to talk to you and give you some food. And a hug. i got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Okay. Have some shellfish. No one else likes it, so may as well. How's your mood? Pretty good. If we got you a home, you would be really, really good. Okay, so next person to check on is Summer, who is never quite as happy, but seems happier now it's not raining, honestly. World veggies? Not hungry. Wow. That's a first. I suppose you're a snake, you just eat loads and then and then you don't eat for a while. Stella, how are you this morning? I'm saying Stella. Am I do I keep calling Gwen Stella? I think I do. I apologize. If that's a, a thing that has gotten into my brain. She is Gwen. I know this. I've got a feeling that I was something that I've been doing, so. Cook up those carrots. It'd be nice if I could get a, uh, a kitchen that does like a combination of things. That'd be cool. Right, Gwen, come back here. I want to give you some noms, please. do pretty well at alternating the popcorn and the coffee. So a little bit of watering, a little bit of harvesting, a little bit of everything. I'm doing terribly for names this time, aren't I? I keep calling Gwen Stella and I keep uh, calling Daffodil Dandelion. <laughs> so this is, this is fantastic. I'm showing my professionalism at every turn. <laughs> right, so... Let's go and check this island out and see if we can get some oak and see if we can turn that oak into oak planks. Just wanted to make sure everyone had breakfast first, you know. Ooh, a visitor. Hello. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. Mm -hmm. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? But the gift shop's the best part. What? Perfect, let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions, but it's really pretty. I love the drawings behind. There's such pretty art. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you notice with the fauna. 
Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. Going through the... I'm guessing these are the rice paddies. I'm half expecting, like, it's so nice and peaceful, I'm half expecting something to jump out at me. Alright, over here. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one's around. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I'm off duty. But that's beside the point. Off to our next stop. You don't like me going faster than them, so I'm just going to stay behind. They don't get too annoyed with me. My goodness, look! So pretty. Alright. Um, I don't think so right now. I know, but you can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection, a strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that would be great. I'll come back. Don't get too close. It's okay. I, knew, I thought you wanted to get out of the forest. Oh, the ribbons. They're so pretty. Speaking of which... This fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Alright, this concludes our tour. For Ogawa Tours, it's grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. There you go. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. Talking about that, now I've got the sawmill and everything, I think I should be able to make all the stuff from my mailbox. Quite funny how that's just in time for me to get junk mail from a tour company. Another sheep here. Strawberries. Ooh. What's down here then? Dive spot. And I got some citrine. Nice. And secret chest, if I can get up there. And secret person. How'd I get up? Help me up. Help me up. Help me up. There's a secret chest there and stuff. Can I double jump? Hmm. Secrets. I absolutely can't. I may require another shrine or something. I can feel it in my bones that there might be a shrine soon, so I'm just going to leave that one for now. Because it seems like you just can't jump up there. So we'll just come over here and cut down some oak, because that's really why I'm here. And remember that there's other things that we might want to grab. I'm going to grab them now, like... Now the tour guide isn't here. I wasn't going to cut it down in front of the tour guide. It's just rude. Nine oak logs. There'll be like some kind of triple jump or some kind of... There'll be something that will allow me to get onto that. There's probably another ability. I can feel it in my boneses. Hey tour guide! Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. I will, don't worry. I'm gonna head back with my oak now though. Right, so I wanna just have a quick look and see all the things that I missed on that island. 
But that is now an island that uh, sat unlocked a whole load of new things. There's uh, a rare chest there, a mushroom there. I could have gotten. The rare chest is where I can't get it. Sheep, I still don't know what I'm doing with sheep at all. I think that's probably something I need to upgrade to. Oops. I had not finished looking. Some crates over there. Another island, Mount Toriyama. And the Iwashima countryside. Or Iwashima, probably. The villa. And then that kind of goes around back to the Everdor. The Everdor's probably in the center of a map that's going around like that. I am starting to imagine. It's pretty cool that the Quartz Dragon is quite close to the center as well. Why is there a bus there? There's also a bus there. I'm going to check this bus out. Why is there a bus? I need to know. I have much of curiosity -os. Ooh. My food's dead. It's nice to know where everybody is because they've all got their little workspaces. I'm going to grab this, put something else on to cook, and then do the farms. And then I'm also going to go... I have so many carrots, it's not even funny. Cook them all up. I'm not bothered with farms, honestly. Like... Oh, we're here. Hang on. So what is all this about with this bus? A traveller. Alright, hello. Hang on, hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. Oh, mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexander. Bleh. It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh yes, I'm Alex and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before, I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. And taking... The same as me. <laughs> and taking you places is my game. Choo choo. No wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop and I'm your driver. Wanna go somewhere? Travel. Oh wow, so we can like fast travel. Okay. So say I wanted to go back to the, my sharky pal. Over there. Whoa! Is it free? That's insane. I'm so glad I went to check. Alright, so we did a... Hey Sprout! Remember that sawmill? You should give it a try. Safety first! Okay, I was waiting to see if you wanted to give me a tour, but I need to make some oak planks, so why not? Now's as good a time as any. Alright, so... Oh. Yep. You're doing it all wrong. <laughs> this is why I needed one. What do I need to do? Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade studying, steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing your pinky or an arm. Or something worse. Add a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. 
Measure once, cut twice. Let's try it with a maple log rather than my hard-earned oak ones. Oh, I see. Would you look at that? I got two maple planks out of that. Let's try again. Two maple planks in the sawdust, okay. I imagine if you get it really perfect, you get like three, but I'm happy enough to, to start trying to make some I'm not the best at this one I tell you that right now but I got two planks out of every every one so how many planks do I have now I have eight oak planks and let's see how many I need for summer's house because I feel that summer is really unhappy right now and I don't like it too much. I love the fanfare of these bus stops. The music is quite amazing. So Summer's House required 12 planks and 8 limestones. So we haven't enough for that. But I kind of feel like I probably want to start going uh, towards uh, the the shark's house right now. Let's get going a little bit so that we can at least get away from this music. Oh no, we're here all night! Ah! <laughs> so we're going to sleep until morning, I think. And uh, I'm going to probably end the episode there as well because it's been 47 minutes. But the bus stops were actually quite amazing and it's quite cool that you get to like, just fast travel. Save yourself a bit of time. I think the day still passes, but it still means I don't have to do all that sailing, which is really cool. And it's kind of cool music, but you know, you don't want to be bite for too long. Good morning, everybody. So that's it. That's the end of the episode for today. We are on our way to see Alex. No, that's Alex. We're on the way to see the shark. I've forgotten his name. Bye, Alex. Yes, we're on the way to see our sharky friend who will hopefully let us upgrade the boat and make it bigger so that we because we have about one space left for Summer's house and then we will not have space for anything else. So we definitely, definitely need a bit of a space upgrade. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Spirit Spiritfarer, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.